banana <laughs> this dish in Thai is called mok no mai mok meaning how you wrap it and then you steam and cook it and no mai is the bamboo shoot and mok no mai mu sam chan mu sam chan is pork belly okay <laughs> oh my god what's this why is this so long of the name okay yeah anyway <laughs> we are gonna cut out banana leaves and Banana to me is amazing plan and why is amazing plan because you know in the old day in the old day we use banana leaves as a plate you know to to eat with and also we cook a lot with it that you wrap food and then you make dessert and you know the stem is actually edible too you just have to you want to see it up close no <laughs> So the stem right here, you know, we, we cook with it too. You just peel kind of like the hot part of it out and the inside is airy and then you just cook with it. So it's edible there. And the old days, you know, people don't have like plastic rope or rope, you know, they will peel this skin right here off and then shred it and dry it and use it as that rope or string to tie stuff with, you know and the banana tree itself is edible it's delicious you just have to peel up until you get into the the center of it that's very soft and it's white and uh, we will definitely cook with it before the winter winter come because when the winter comes here it's actually kill the banana but it will sprout again in the spring but before it, it died down because of the winter we will cook with it and i'll show you guys how we do it okay and also the banana <laughs> <laughs> also the banana root is the medicinal oh, oh, yeah too so and let's cut it already <laughs> it's grow a lot since last time that we cut it and remember the the little one that that i said it will grow is still there guys something just never grow like this one you know it's still there um i actually want a big one i think this one looks pretty so i'm just gonna cut it Sorry. Yeah. It's so beautiful guys. Look at the leaves. I wish that they will stay alive through the winter but they actually like die down. But they will come back in the spring though. So it's big. It grow a lot. You can cover mango, like a whole mango. This is like an umbrella. What are you eating? Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, let's put it out in the sun. It's kind of looks like it's gonna rain a little bit, but we're gonna leave it out for a little bit so that the leaves get softer and easier to wrap. And after that, we are going to pick some herbs and chili and you know, for our dish that we're making. Okay, let's go. Look at my, what is it? Papaya, papaya tree. Um, it's from the compost that I bury it and then the seeds just sprout and it's big, you know. I'm not expecting to get papaya of it because it's almost like winter and I think it's gonna die now. It's very windy today because it actually like looks like it's gonna rain. So just to see, you know, get to see papaya tree again. I haven't seen it in since I moved here. So it's like like home. It's medicinal too, the leaves, but I'm uh we're not doing anything with it. Let's go. We are going to pick lemongrass. I plant it a lot. It's actually survived through the winter here in Austin, Texas. It might look like it died during the winter, but it, it's still there. <laughs> okay, we are. We only need one stalk, so um, I'm gonna only cut one stalk. สวัสดีค่ะทุกคนลักนานะคะพบกันอีกแล้วแล้วก็น้องหมา
มะม่วงนะคะหรือแมงโก้นะคะทุกคนแล้วก็สามีตากล้องค่ะวันนี้เราจะมาทําเมนูหมกหน่อไม้ใส่หมู3ชั้นนะคะทุกคนอวนแค่นั้นไม่พอค่ะทุกคนแล้วเราก็จะทําเมนูหมู3ชั้นทอดน้ําปลาด้วยค่ะโอเคเชื่อว่าไงไม่กบดเป็นยุคเล่มครับ be careful you should wear gloves it's, it's a little bit sharp so and wash your eyes because it's kind of like you could poke your eyes too I'm gonna only get one I go from here okay. oh look at that it's big they uh, lemon grass they really love the manure cow manure if you put on top of them like You know, round is the best, and they will grow really, really well. We just need the stalk right here. I'm gonna cut the leaves out and leave it here. Okay? You like it, mango? Just the mm hmm. So like Thailand, guys, it's really good making like lemon grass tea too. I think maybe sometime we would do that. Hey, what you think? Oh, mango. Like it? Oh no, no, don't eat it. And now we are going to get some chilies. This chili, it's not as spicy as like you know the other chili that I have. Oh no! You bad boy! No! 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 He took the whole thing and dragged it off. Oh, you just a fuck! Okay, don't don't do it. Okay. Alright, back to chili, guys. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Silly dog. Okay, so, back to chili. <laughs> I'm going to uh, get a lot of this because it's not only add flavor, it's not too crazy spicy, and it's gonna add a really nice color to the dish that we're making. Okay. Mok no mai sai mu som chan. The longest name yet. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay, you can get this. All right, go. There you go. Go. You could be crazy sometimes, all the time. Okay. I think they actually are. Uh, Ready to be harvested. I actually, um, we actually use this chili at the food truck too for papaya salad. It has a nice flavor, not too crazy, like strong spice, you know. So, okay, guys, now we are going to get lemon basil. This dish, mok no mai, cannot be mok no mai without this basil. It's lemon basil or bai mang lat in Thai. Okay. We're gonna get. We have a lot, so we're gonna add a lot. It smells really good, like home, like basil. หอมมากเลยค่ะทุกคนใบแมงลักนะคะอันนี้ปลูกไว้เยอะมากเพราะว่าเอาไว้ใส่ออมไก่ที่ร้านนะคะทุกคนจริงๆเราอยากจะเอาแช่แข็งไว้นะคะแต่ว่าทําไว้แล้วแหละแต่ยังไม่เยอะนะคะก็จะทําไปเรื่อยๆนะคะทุกคนหอมมากหอมเหมือนบ้านเราเลยนะคะหมกหน่อไม้ไม่ใส่ไปแมงลักมันไม่อร่อยนะคะทุกคนมันจะต้องแบบออริจินอลนิดนึงใส่โอเค I think that's good amount and then we need some lime leaves or we call m a k r o o t in Thai okay so really nice gonna be careful picking it it has thorns it will stab you I think that's it all right let's go I think we have four different types Of chili in our garden, so this is this one is different than the last one. It has a very unique flavor. Um, when it's green and young like this, it's not as spicy. And if you cook with it, it's really nice. I'm not gonna mash it up. I'm just gonna put the whole thing in the dish. So it's really good with the sausage and stuff too. I think that's it. All right, guys. I think we got every ingredients that we need. We got lemon basil. We got lemon grass here. Just one stalk is more than enough. We got the red chili. This one not as spicy. We got some young green, another different type chili, lime leaves, and that's it. Okay. 
It's starting to rain now. We got on our herbs and let's get the fire going so we can cook it. Let's go, let's go. We have our ingredients here for our mok no mai. Right here is bamboo shoot. And here is chalice that we thinly slide. And lemongrass that we got from our garden. That mango stone it. <laughs> we got some uh, freshly Thai chili. And lemon basil. This little green one that we got. And we got lime leaves here. A little bit of scallion. Roasted uh, rice powder here and fish sauce and fermented fish sauce and here is kale it's kale water like I put uh, fresh kale and mix in water just pour water in it and then blend it and strain it and you will get this green healthy looking juice okay we're gonna add that in there also okay I'm going to add lemongrass first because it's a little bit harder to mash you know, so okay. just mash it all up. You have to really thinly slice it because you don't want like a uh, little needle when you mash it. You want it perfectly grind for lemongrass so that it doesn't stab your mouth when you eat it. You can't hold back all the herbs. You have to add a lot of herbs to it in this dish. That way, it's super strong. You know, herbals and flavorful. I think that's good enough. Now I'm gonna add chilies. So now we're going to cut our banana leaves. We are going to wrap it. I'm going to use toothpick to secure it. Okay, and let's add some of the mix here. Okay, mango is going crazy because I think he likes the smell of the pork belly or something. Maybe that's too much, but we're gonna try. Alright. So I actually uh, put it on a fire just to get it soft. So that way it doesn't crack, you know, or break. So now I'm gonna do that. And then add our. I actually practice one C. <laughs> add in there. Not gonna do it too too big because it's hard to wrap. Okay, I think this is good amount. We're gonna add lemon basil on top one more time, and then our young green chilies on top. Okay, and now we're going to wrap it. So like that. Squish this guy. It doesn't look very um ooh, it does it got who? No, it's okay. Okay. I think we made it. Pretty good. And I'm gonna use toothpick to secure it. Right here. Make a knot. And then like that. And that's good. Okay? 
We got two now. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, we are going to finish wrapping it all up and then we are going to steam it outside on a charcoal fire that we started, okay? Now we are going to put it on a fire. Um, we got our food in there. I put a plate down so it catch on the juice if it's, you know, spill out or whatever. I got water underneath <laughs> and we are going to cook it on this. So now we are steaming it. It should take 30 minutes to cook and we will come back and check it after we waiting for this to be done we actually have a backup menu again <laughs> because i'm not sure how it's gonna turn out but i think it should be good um so confident <laughs> uh, we are going to go do a deep fried pork belly it's called mu sam chan thot nam pla which is pork belly seasoned with only fish sauce and then have a little bit of deep frying uh, flour mix that on top of it and we are going to do that also let's go let's deep fry our pork belly doesn't it look weird it has uh, some fish sauce in it fish sauce and pepper and tempura flour and that's it no water so it's kind of like weird looking but we are going to deep fry it now mm -hmm. We got our pork belly now. It's done and very, very crispy. It's actually really hot. So, wow, so crispy. Mm. One. <laughs> this is how buffalo lose its teeth. So good. Okay. Super super crispy. The color might might not look like you know appetizing, but it's actually really good. Actually really hot. <laughs> you wanna try? <laughs> we also made some ginger sauce here. So we are going to serve our pork belly with ginger sauce. Very tradition sauce. Let's take a look at our mok no mai. Wow. Mmm, that smell. Smell like home. This is smell like when my mom you know, usually my mom would make this uh, this dish, not pork belly, but with frog. Frog. You know, she would grind it up, chop it up. And then instead of uh, bamboo shoot, she would use banana flour. See, banana flour also edible. Okay, alright guys, I'm so excited to taste it. Hopefully it tastes good. It smells really good already. Okay, let's go. We got our pork belly, we got our mok no mai, we got sticky rice, and I am actually going to open this first. Let's pick the pretty one. This one looks pretty good, okay? It's still really hot, it just came out of the stove, so let's open it up. It smells so good. Hey! Oh, so juicy, look at that! It smells so good. Mm. Okay? I'm going to do one little whole chili, pork belly, and bamboo, sticky rice. Okay. Mm. So guys, I think that it almost tastes like curry, but without coconut milk because of the herbs and the spices and the lemon basil it's just it's just like how we eat it at home you know it's not super crazy spicy when you don't eat the <laughs> little chili that i add on top of it you know i thought it wouldn't be that spicy but it actually really really spicy 
but it's really good. Okay, and now we are going to taste our deep fried pork belly with the jim jiao sauce. Mm. Very, very good. Alright guys, I'm very, very hungry, so we're going to enjoy our food now. Thank you so much for watching. And for the next video, we are going to do something, not sure what yet, but it's going to be something fun and exciting. For sure. ขอบคุณนะคะทุกคนที่ติดตามแล้วก็ดูวิดีโอของเรานะคะวันนี้หิวข้าวมากเลยค่ะเดี๋ยวจะไปกินแล้วหน่อไม้นี่ทำครั้